Hey Jamrin developers, this is Jamrin guys. So sixth tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be creating a beautiful UI design that will be applicable to both Android as well as iOS application. So without wasting our time, I request you to follow each and every step, and you can create your own style as well as design throughout this tutorial in very simple steps. New solution here. You will see a lot of option. Now we are going to write code for multi-platform. That is cross-platform. Select that cross-platform option and give it a name as beautiful UI and click on OK and give it a shared as well as portable class library. You can select anything. We need to first of all go over to our project. Here we will be specifically talking about root project, not other project that are basically targeting specific operating system like Android as well as iOS. There are two files, they are app.jml as well as mainpage.jml and this app.jml is very much important part as it is an area where we are evaluating our app to start from the position. Here, main page is a page holder which contains the page to be loaded. Now let's go to our mainpage.jml part. As in this tutorial, we'll be creating a beautiful UI design that will be applicable to both Android as well as iOS application. Let's see this UI design. So in order to save my time, I'll copy and paste my code over here. I request you to hard code it. I'll zoom it a little bit. Here I'll be using five different grid giving height as auto and second last star is for utilizing our available space. This is my UI design where I am placing every images inside each grid. This screen.png is my header background that can be found inside my drawable folder as screen.png and giving as a aspect fill. This is my aspect fill area and giving screen.png and for is cop png this is my cop png and which can be found inside my drawable folder and i'm also giving as fill because we are filling that area for profile image i am using ic launcher.png as is my profile picture that will be inside my drawable sdpi ic launcher this is my profile image and giving height as 100 and horizontal option as center you may be in doubt that how I created those images, those hexagon images. Just I went through internet and randomly downloaded two images as my profile images as well as background images. Then I converted using app tool as well as my Android Asset Studio. You can use anything. Just I went through splash plus screen generator for android as well as ios and then i selected the ip tool and selected my png format as yes, you have to verify that the downloaded images should be in a png format and then if it isn't in a PNG format, then open it with Photoshop or any photo editing tool and convert it into PNG format. Now select background eraser tool and erase the background as any shape that you require. And then file save as PNG. After you save as PNG, please cross verify that it's a png format and then convert it using splash screen converter as well as android asset studio icon generator after that copy down those android as well as ios image folder inside our project folder resources that is beautiful ui.android as well as ios project folder i have already pasted it now let's head towards our project code. After that, implementation of two grows. Now it's time for profile name level as well as profile tag level. This section is for my profile name level as well as profile tag level. 
Here I am using static resource. Styles can be made available globally by adding them to the application resource dictionary. This helps to avoid duplication of styles across pages or controls. This is my profile name level and for those static resource profile tag level and giving a text as Star Wars reviews. And for those application resource dictionary, I'll go towards XAML part. In order to save my time, I'll copy and paste that code. By default, all Xamarin form application created from a template use the app class to implement the application subclass. To declare a style at the application level in the application resource dictionary using XAML, the default app class must be replaced with a XAML app class and associated code behind. This will be my UI design that will be using resource dictionary and using color of Debbie uh, gray as well as light gray for texts and customized font for our platform that is Android as well as iOS as regular font family, light font family as well as medium font family and giving font sizes as 2018, 18, 2016 and giving font name as font title, font body as well as font tactics etc. And for style I'll be using header text color and giving a value of header text color and uh, giving a key for header text color and using that static resource and then for medium font family that is medium font family I'll be using that resource and giving a key for medium font family and which will be declared inside profile name level that is this profile name level that is similar to title font also and this profile name level I'll be implementing inside our main page dot XAML part and giving name as signed in that is signed in now copy down all those application resource dictionary part these are my post styles that is profile name level giving debit crawl color as well as medium 20 size these are my second style light gray medium 18 and then these are my third style debit gray light 20 size these are my fourth styles light gray light and thin 16 size now closing resource dictionary part and this attribute will be implemented inside our main page.xaml part now let us implement our fourth grid that is social stat section this is my social stat section in this section we'll be having three stack layout inside that three stack layout there will be three children inside it this is my total stack layouts and inside that grid I'll be using a stack layout inside that stack layout there will be your children and given our image source of height request 50 as well as width request of 50 and I'll be using that source from internet these are the random images that are found on internet you can use anything I'll be using Facebook for first stack layout giving a label as 103 as well as likes for Facebook and for second stack layout grid column of 1 height request of 50 as well as width request of 50 giving a level 164 and followers this will be for my Google Plus and that stack layout given as height 50 as well as white 50. This will be my Twitter circle and given as level 107 and tweet us as level. I think this will be enough for this session now. Now let's run our app. I'll debug it. Let's start our app whether it compiles or not. Build is being started. Deploy successful. 
built also successful start debugging android app and this will be same for ios also you just need to change the images only start debugging android app it's ready to go okay we got the expected output thanks developer keep in touch for next session thanks